first of all, congratulations on season seven, probably the most brutal, terror-filled episode yet. I don't know, according to a lot of people, With, that's uh, what they're saying. You know, they say that every year. <laughs> and, and we say, this will be worse. And they're yeah. like, yeah, right, and then it is. And then it is. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Uh, what was your reaction to uh, knowing that Glenn and Abraham were gone? Well, I was, I mean, I found out last year um, mm -hmm. that it was coming. And I mean, those, they're really good friends of mine. So, um, you know, I was bummed about it. And it, it, it's hard when you lose anyone on this show, but when you, you know, lose characters like that, it's... Mm -hmm. Super awful. And uh, reactions from fans overnight has been pretty intense. People are traumatized, They're really traumatized. Have you read the social media? Uh, a little bit, not a lot. I read something and it was like, Daryl, how could you? Yes. And I was like, oh, thanks, Jeffrey. Thanks a whole lot for that <laughs> shout out last night on Talking Dead. Um, but uh, yeah, we, we talked about that on the car, and he was like, I'm just going to blame you. <laughs> and then he did it, and I was like, man. Um, but uh, mostly, it, mostly it's just, you know, hate towards you. It's yeah. mostly and, I mean, that's, yeah, that's the only tweets I'm sending. Right? <laughs> thank, you, thank you very much. And then how does it feel to wake up being you this morning <laughs> and having all of that hate overnight? Well, I don't know. I haven't read anything this morning. Uh, I just Good got idea. up, and I'm just here with you. So, uh, look, it's part of the deal, and I'm going to either blame it on on Norman, which is a firm truth, and then there's also... You mean Daryl, not Norman. I mean Daryl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Well, but you said Thank Jeffrey you. earlier. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did that Easy. on purpose. <laughs> um, but really, it's the writers, when you think about it. What was your reaction when you found out that you were going to be killing these guys? Well, as a fan of the show, I was bummed, because I think that they're, one, they're great actors, and then you meet them, and they're such great guys, and I didn't know last year, when we did my initial scene, that those were going to be the victims. I didn't know until... You know, we came back that those were going to be the two guys, and you know, I, it's it's a big part of the show that's gone, and and I think the show's going to take an initial hit not having them around anymore, and I'm going to take a lot of the blame. Um, that being said, I think it's going to propel a new storyline, and hopefully, it'll be it'll be great. Mm -hmm. You said that you want to you didn't want to play Negan as a straight up bad guy, but how is that possible? He's so unrelentingly. But in this world, how do you know who is necessarily a good... I mean, how do you differentiate? If you're just trying to keep people alive and keep yourself alive in this world, it's hard to differentiate the good and the bad. Because, I mean, you know, Daryl and Rick and the rest of the survivors have done some pretty horrendous things over the course of time. Uh, and Negan has done the same. He's just got a certain flair that kind of... <laughs> You know, I like your defense. Okay, thank you. The certain flair. It's, it's, it's the one thing I got. It's the only thing I had to go. Were you on. ever worried it was going to be Daryl? Yeah, we're always worried. Right? Is, is it every day? Yeah. yeah. I mean, to think about like, I mean, you you know, you you do it with a smile on your face, but when I bazookaed all your men on the motorcycles, I was kind of That's digging right. it. That's right. You were smiling yeah. too. You thought it was so awesome. So sick. And I was only, I mean, you took out like 10 of my guys in one swoop and thought it was I'm awesome. way more efficient than you. Way more efficient. Yeah. I only took out like two. So two. who's the real bad guy here? Well, this is what I'm trying right. to say. Yeah, no, I see. I get it. I get it. All you know, along, I remember when, uh, anyway. when Andy, Rick, <laughs> ripped the throat out of a dude with his teeth. Yeah. No one bats an eye. Negan hits a couple people with a little baseball bat, and all of a sudden he's the worst person in the world. Come on. 